Hi, I'm Hugh and I'm a flute consultant here at Just Flutes. And this video is about how to choose the right beginner flute for your child. What I'm holding here is a full concert student flute. It's a Yamaha YFL212, which is probably one of the most popular models of student flutes that we have. Now, typically speaking, we would see beginners from the ages of about 10 upwards starting on this kind of instrument. But if your child is younger and probably a bit smaller, then a full concert flute can present them with some problems. For example, on this instrument, holding the flute out to the side here, there is quite a stretch between the uh, mouth where you're making the sound and the right hand on that right arm there. Now, if you're much smaller, uh, this can really feel like a very big stretch. It can cause tension in the neck, it can cause pain in the shoulders, and it can really make life very difficult for a younger player, and also set them up with problems later down the track that are best avoided altogether. Luckily, if you've got a young child who would like to start playing the flute and are not quite ready for a full-size concert flute, there are other possibilities. So, this is a fife. It's played in the same way as a flute, by holding it sideways and blowing across this hole in the top here. Uh, but as you can see, there's no mechanism on it. Uh, it's small, it's lightweight, and it's virtually unbreakable. The fife is a great instrument for players from the age of about six onwards. And the, one of the very wonderful things about them is that they give it a super solid foundation for how to make a good sound on the flute. So by the time your child is thinking about moving on to something that's a bit more advanced, they already know how to make a great sound, which means that the progress from that point onwards will be much, much quicker. The fife is a really, really great and also cost-effective way of getting your child started on the path to playing uh, music. Uh, plus, they come in a range of great colours. Uh, there are lots of great success stories uh, of players who have started off playing the, the fife, uh, and you can click here if you want to hear one of those stories. An alternative to the fife is the Nouveau Toot, and as you can see, these also come in a range of fun colours. The toot is just like a fife, except it's got these keys here instead of just the holes of the fingers. And another difference is it has got this slightly different lip plate on it. This is called a first note lip plate. And it means that you can play the toot a bit like a recorder. You can just blow down it and it will make a sound uh, like this. So you can just blow down it and the sound comes out and you don't have to worry about forming a correct embouchure. So it's great for group lesson situations where you really want to get on with learning the fingers uh, and how to read music and there's not so much time to worry about getting the sound out. It's just made for you. But these do come with an alternative lip plate uh, which you can just clip on and then you can play it like a regular fife. Next in the list of flutes uh, for younger players is this flute here. This is a Just Flutes 101 Apprentice flute. And you can already see that this is much more similar looking to a regular concert flute. But, of course, there are some key differences. The first difference, I'm sure you'll have noticed right away, is this curved head joint here. This uh, reduces the overall length of the flute and makes it much easier for younger players to hold sideways without overstretching the right shoulder and the right arm. The other difference with the apprentice flute is that the mechanism is simplified. So some of the keys uh, pertaining to notes that are not used in the first stages of flute playing have been left off altogether. What that means is the instrument is both shorter and lighter, it's 15% shorter, 20% lighter. So it's really good for younger players. Uh, typically we would find players sort of between the ages of six and eight playing these. Uh, and they also make really good upgrade flutes for young learners who have already been playing the fife. One other thing that is really great about the apprentice flutes is that they are one piece, so they're stored in their case as they are. Um, one of the biggest causes of um, people ringing out workshop with problems to their flute is when a child has assembled it incorrectly and bent something out of place. And having this as a one-piece construction helps to avoid that problem altogether. So a really ideal option. And they sound really good.
This is a nouveau J flute. It's very different in appearance to an apprentice flute, but the concept is very similar. The head joint portion is shortened with this sort of donut shape here, and the flute is shortened on the end, so it's very light. It's also very light because it's made out of plastic which makes it waterproof uh, and generally very resistant. So I would say it's perhaps a little less satisfying to play in terms of the sound that it produces, but it's really good in a classroom situation uh, if you're teaching lots of kids at the same time and you just need an instrument that will be resistant and that will get the job done. Next on the list, and uh, perhaps the most traditional option for beginners, is a curved head joint flute. Now what I have here is a Yamaha YFL212U, and the difference between this flute and the apprentice flute is that the mechanism on this flute is not simplified. So we still have this curved head joint, uh, which helps to reduce the stretch for young players on their arms. But because the mechanism is not simplified, it means that this flute is capable of taking a, a beginner right from, from the get-go, from scratch, up until the grade five or six level. Uh, and typically we would see uh, children starting on this kind of flute from about the ages of eight or nine, when they start to be big enough to be able to handle a slightly heavier, longer flute. The other great thing about this flute is that, as with most curved head joint flutes, it comes with an alternative straight head joint. And what that means is as soon as your child is uh, old enough and big enough to be able to play a full-sized flute comfortably, you can start using the straight head joint uh, without having to buy a whole new instrument. The last flute on our list of flutes for younger players is this Jupiter Waveline flute. This is quite a recent addition to the family of flutes for smaller younger players. Uh, and we here at Just Flutes think it is a fantastic innovation. Curved head joint flutes can be a little bit unbalanced and younger players can struggle to keep them in place. They have a tendency to sort of roll backwards. Uh, with the waveline flute, the centre of gravity on the flute is actually below the flute itself and that keeps it super stable. The flute doesn't want to roll around at all. So uh, it just takes the hassle of trying to keep the flute stable right out of your child's hands. This flute also has a full mechanism on it. There's no simplification to the mechanism, which means that it is capable of taking your child through to grade five or six. And it also comes uh, in a set with an upgrade kit to a straight head joint. So again, once your child is uh, big enough to be able to comfortably play a full-size concert flute, then you can just pop the extension on, pop the head joint on, and you've got a flute, um, a full concert flute, without having to buy a whole new instrument. If your child is raring to go on the flute, but just isn't quite able to manage the full-sized one, then this is probably the best option for you. And to learn more about the Waveline flute, you can watch the video we made about them here. To read more about all of the instruments I've covered in this video and to see them on our website, click on the links below. Uh, you can also see more videos like this one by subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thank you very much for watching and happy fluting!